Hi, YouTubers. I don't know if you can hear me or not because it's real raining. Like, downpouring here in Michigan. I am just leaving work and another day of not wanting to think too much so I thought I'd chat with you guys on the way home. So um, there's this new thing out about Brandon. Does anybody know what this is? Like they're literally, um, I don't even know, like it's a big joke. Um, some of these YouTubers that I watch, you know, on occasion, or I'm flipping through YouTube, um, they have this, I don't know, Brandon didn't do this, or Brandon is this, it's just weird, and it just came up like a couple days ago. Strange stuff. I just am really curious, because I have no idea, and usually, you know, usually I figure these things out, <laughs> this time around I'm sort of idiotic. Oh my goodness, it is just downpouring. The audio on this is probably going to stink because all I can hear is the rain thudding on my car. I should actually do a TikTok video for this because it is just, I mean, it is, I can't even see. There's leaves down, there's all kinds of, and it wasn't, I just took my client outside and came in, and this is what it is. It's downpouring, like, literally. It's crazy. This is my window. And these are on high. And leaves flying everywhere, debris. Three limbs down, like what happened? What is happening? I don't even get it. Because it was probably 15 minutes ago or so that it was just bright blue skies, sun peeking out, and then now, I'll, now it's going away. So good. It'll be a better ride home instead of in this mess. Because I, I don't know, it don't bother me to drive home in the rain. It just takes a lot longer. So the energy in the world is really off. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel really off. Um, usually I'm never nervous about things, but I sort of have this nervous energy about myself. Um, I'm not afraid. It's whatever, whatever. Um, but the when I was at therapy with my client, um, it's like this fake weird nervous energy that everybody's giving off. So they all wear masks, except me and my patient. We don't wear them. Everybody else does in, the, in that place. And I don't know why, because it's, I really don't. Now, if you're, I, I can understand if they're fearful and things like that. Um, but the thing of it that don't make any sense to me is when they first came out with these masks, they told you that if you wore a mask, you're spread, not spreading it to other people. If you wear them, if, if you you're not going to get the, you're going to get the disease, even though, I mean, it was backwards, and people are wearing it to, like, so they can't get diseases. Well, you might not get the flu, like, the regular flu, I don't know. Dude, go. I don't give a, I don't give a royal rat's butt if you go first. Chivalry is dead, people. Chivalry is dead. We need to bring it back and we need to teach our sons and family and people around this world we need to teach them how we want to be treated, treated as women as elderly adults as everybody we should we should demand some respect um, not not that way but our our inner self um, give up kindness and receive as we get older, I teach these younger children how to give and get kindness because it is just a whoop. This world is a little whoopy on the, on the 
don't know how to fix it because about a year ago I gave up my bed and started sleeping on the floor. I just have this transient feeling about what's going to transpire. So I knew that I would have to sleep on the floor eventually. So I've been sleeping on the floor for a year. It helps my back, don't get me wrong, and my hips. But my shoulders have been bugging me for two days. So it, I, that's from somebody passing away, my that little boy passing away, and the tension has caused it. And it'll be like that for like two days, and then I'll be sore for a week. So that's what's gonna end up there. It's just sore from tension, and this is the after effects of it. I need to cut a pool noodle and roll a pool noodle. That's what my masseuse used to tell me, is lay on a pool noodle and it will stretch out my chest. So that's what I think I need to do, get that done and do it every day for like 20, 25 minutes before I fall asleep in bed. So it stretches out my chest muscles and even to the shoulder. Cause she said the shoulders like curled in. I don't know if other people have that, but let me know if it works. Because it sure is. Oh, it makes my whole um, trapezius tight. And this is all tight. And it goes, when I squeeze that, it hurts my head. I mean, it's just crazy. And then my son has it too. So I would imagine we don't have like um, great, not bad posture, but like not great posture or a great whatever you want to say. So we, I think we have tilted pelvises and then we lean forward and as you get older your chest muscles, well I do that yoga but um, your chest muscles sort of shrink in and you curl in on yourself. The shoulder is really bad because I think it stretches up. Yeah. Just, just a, I just need to get better at it. Uh, more disciplined on stretching, uh, laying on the pool noodle for an hour or 20 minutes, I think that's what she says. It really is not comfortable to do that. Just to get expanded. But I did um, see a TikTok video, and I don't want to spread the negativity about um, the vacuuming of it being pushed through um, Michigan. But I don't know how, because we have like no governor. We're governing ourselves, which that's the way it should be. We should not be governed beings not what we need to be. Um, we should be sovereign beings and know right from wrong and be at peace and love each other. But it might be a while yet where people can reach because there's still, like I said, there's still so many people that um, wear masks and um, are worried about the vacuuming and freak out. But, you know, it's so weird because they're like, for all that stuff, and then, but they don't like, they don't like the, you know, the situation the world is in. It's weird. It's just, it's like they're convinced of one thing, but another thing just kicks them in the face. Like, how does that work? I, I don't know. And the whole thing hasn't opened up in their eyes. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. It's confusing for me as it is for everybody else. I just keep plugging away because I might be without a job in a couple weeks or a week or whatever if they do that mandate in in Michigan I'll be without a job because I think it's all whatever workers I'm not getting it ever so they can come at me whatever they want to do I mean who's afraid of the big bad wolf I'm not they can huff and puff and try to blow my house down but I built a brick wall so I ain't doing it I'm just not I'm uh uh like I told you, my mom lived through World War II over in Germany, and that decimated everything over there. It didn't change. And then they came here. My older brother was born in Germany, and um, Erlangen, and then he moved here when he was a year old with my mom and dad, and um, he went to school, a kindergarten class, a couple years later, and he spoke German the whole entire time growing up when he was a little boy and um, then he went to kindergarten and they said no you can't have German whatever alright my son's calling me hello hello again um, yeah my son called told me what happened at the doctor's office but anyway 
Um, yeah. I feel like something is coming. Well, a crescendo. Because we have been dancing on the precipice of change for so long. The people that have realized that our change is going on, that it's time for us to get on the other side of this mountain that we've climbed. The other people can take their time and, it, it, you know, souls do what souls do. I, I'm not the soul master. I have no idea. But some of us need to move into the lighter area of 4D, 5D and, and get the heck out of Dodge because it's wearing people out to be in this negative. It's, it's walking in swamp water every day. And now that I saw that thing about the vacuuming, I just don't know. And I just watched JCK's. I haven't watched her in a long time. I'm not a fan. Um, or whatever you want to say. It just doesn't bother me. It's just some strange stuff sometimes. But anyway, um, it was what she said last night is what I've been saying all along. That we have to move and get more positive positive in the direction of positivity and get moved past this and create a positive world. Uh, I just, you know, like I talked about victimizing myself a couple weeks ago with the courthouse and feeling very vulnerable, but now no more. It will never happen to me again. Nobody's going to victimize me again because I'm out of that vibe don't want to do it anymore. I've seen it. I saw the glitch. And now I'm done. I have to stop the cycle. Um, it's sort of like the vacuuming. I have stayed away from the whole idea of it. Like a long time ago said, I am not going to get it. I'm not afraid. And I don't care. Nobody has approached me with any manner of that. Um, I, don't, I don't wear a mask here in Michigan, nobody does, unless you want to, I mean, and that's their freedom of choice, whatever, um, but now it's getting a little thicker, because it's becoming the end of October, and something is brewing, I know people have been saying that for months, but there is, I feel something different, other than just, like, what's next, what's next, what's next, because the supply chains are going to start getting shorter. Um, people are going to start running out of materials. We can't just live in this fantasy land forever and pretend that this isn't happening. And just go about our happy little hunky-dory business. Well, there's so many people losing their jobs. And so many people are going to, um, uh, going to the protests. And then there's like uh, people that don't even exist are in doing whatever on CGI and what, you know, it's, uh, we know it's a lot of just to wake up people, but it's how much can we keep enduring? Uh, I say, I, I say as positive as possible, but I don't know if sometimes it's just the grief that gets me and I feel a little lower vibe every once in a while. I don't know. This is difficult. This is a difficult one of what is transpiring right now. My eBay is really low. My Facebook marketplace is really low. Um, the sales. Uh, I haven't had, I've had like three new subscribers on one channel and one, you know, like one or two on TikTok. And there for a while I was doing pretty good. So I don't know. I don't know. I, it's just sort of seems like everything is slowing down. Slowing down to, you know, and then Halloween, like these people have Halloween up and it's like, it grosses me out. After I realized what Halloween's actually about, about rituals and other things that people have been doing to other people for years, like they killed witches and witches weren't even bad. They were good witches or whatever you want to say a hundred years ago. Did they do it? Probably. Anything that threatens the norm, they kill. You know, everything, everything just, I don't know. It's 
got to be pop. I can't even do this anymore. Well, I'm almost home and the rain almost completely stopped. Well, it did stop. It's, um, gosh, just went blank. <laughs> completely blank there for a second. <laughs> it's so silly. Anyway, um, the roads are wet and it just blows on my um, window and windshield and so I have to turn on the thing. Our leaves aren't even turning. Uh, they're slowly, slowly turning. I want to go up north next week to check out um, the colors and enjoy myself. So, yeah, I'm hoping that the colors change a little bit here and move on. I don't know. Probably, probably shouldn't wish for it because then winter comes. And it's supposed to be a dark winter. Dark winter. Whatever. Uh, what else? Oh, I was going to go up to North to the lady's house, that Jamie's house, the one that I had in the other video. Yeah, we were going to go up North and go hang out, but she had a birthday around my birthday, so we're just going to stay home, I guess, and eat cake at her house or have some fun at her house for a couple of days and hang. But anyway, I just wanted to bring the vibe up because that was a little about the energies of the world. And then I went into Halloween and how I'm not doing Halloween anymore. I don't even know if I'm doing Christmas. I, my kids are going to be mad at me, but I just don't even have a desire. It's just, we've been so conditioned that this is what we're supposed to do that I don't want to do it. I mean, if they want to do it, they can do it. I'm not going to, it just like my, you know, it's funny because a lot of families are breaking up because of this. And my family, my immediate family, nothing has changed. <laughs> nothing has changed. They still think I'm the weirdo, which has been all along. And, um, I, but I can't say that because I don't want to victimize myself. See, I have to catch. Those are triggers that I try to be aware of in my life. Um, but the kids, my kids, they don't look at me any differently. My brothers, no, no. It's sort of nice with my brothers because they're sort of opening their eyes day by day. Uh, my nieces and nephews, no. Everybody's all the same. Nobody cares. My brothers have been vacuumed. It, they don't even care. Nobody cares. You know, it's, it is what it is. That's the way it should be. It is what it is. And leave it at that. dreary out here. There was another shooting around here. Another boy died. That whole funeral home is full of family members in the middle of a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, it's sort of sad. I, I, there's been quite a few shootings. Quite a few shootings or killings. They're not just um, shootings where they're hurting other people. They're killing them. And we don't have a lot of services. Um, the police won't come out. Like, we used to have tickets, like this parking monitor lady that used to come out around our neighborhood and give tickets. My son links the car out there sometimes and accidentally because he falls asleep or something. Nobody gives him a ticket anymore. Nobody doesn't. It's the same with some of these um, calls, like, um, you know, somebody's yelling at somebody else. That's why some of the videos on YouTube are sort of weird or TikTok are sort of weird because I don't know where they're getting all these officers from because we sure don't have them. We hardly have any. And then they're not, oh, don't pull these people over. Don't pull these people. I can't even imagine if they've ever been called, caught, called for a mandate, mask mandate or whatever. Because they're just not here, so they can't do it. But if it, who would go? I mean, we have state police and we have city police and things like that. But there's not very many of them not very many of them at all especially when you've got shootings and you've got robberies and you've got other stuff going on and there's, you know there's drugs all over the city and I remember last year I had um, somebody back into my car and hit the door and the cop I called the cops somebody hit my door um they did a lot of damage. I need a police report. 
and it was 9-1 with dispatch and she said call Monday morning and get your police report what the police don't even have to come nope 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 and the insurance company didn't even care to see the police report they didn't even bother they were just like oh take it in there's no deductible and we'll fix it well it took a long time because of last year but I don't know how how things are gonna work now it's going to get smaller and smaller because there's fewer and fewer cars on the uh, lots there's uh, fewer parts to fix things um, people are gonna have to become really inventive pretty soon on how to take care of themselves because it's going to be a lot bigger than toilet paper. What in the world? Boy, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a traffic jam in the middle of my town. Like, what? Trigger. Calm down. You know, it's so funny because I do that. Triggers. And I realize that I'm triggered. And I calm down. And no kidding. Most of the time, the car pulls out of the way or turns or goes faster. Or it just it's just strange. It just sort of opens up like, boom. Have your way. It's been an interesting day, sort of an up and down day. I'm sure everybody has them. You can't, you can't always be in, always be in the love vibe, 5D or whatever, 4D. Uh, I think we just tiptoe there. We dance there. We come home. We dance. We go home. I, I, I would love to stay there, but. Yeah, it's it's virtually impossible, especially when you've got to go to work. It's just your reaction. You have to train your ego to be calm and get rid of it and relax and stay out of it and, and just control your behavior, your own your own behavior and your vibes change. But it takes a little while, especially for people like I've said, people that are already doing it and understanding it. You're talking about people that haven't even gotten past stage one of trying to figure this out. It's going to be so, so dang difficult for them. So damn difficult. It's like, wake up. You gotta, you gotta start moving on. That's the, I, I just don't know. That's when this one lady did a prediction a long time ago. It'd take 25 years for this transition to happen. I can't live in this for 25 years. I don't want to. I refuse to. I absolutely refuse to. I want to um, move through. I can see the end zone, and I want to make it. I'm, I want to be there. Other people might take 25 years. That is believable. That is totally believable. But not me. I don't want to be here 25 years longer. And no. No, it's a beautiful planet, and I love it. It's gorgeous. When the leaves fall, oh my gosh, one of my favorite things ever is when you're walking down the street and the leaves are falling and the smell of wet leaves. That's truly fall. And all you want to do is eat a donut and drink apple cider all day long. That's really what you want to do. Or get a latte and sit outside and just count the leaves as they fall. That's what you want to do all day. Enjoy every moment of it. And summer is so busy. Summer is like, go, 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 and run here, run there. Everybody's got to do their thing, you know, go to the beach, go to this, go to that. Fall is just stop. All of a sudden, putting on some brakes, pumping the brakes, like, you know, um, getting the donuts, chilling by the TV, having a little bit of uh, campfire every once in a while, camping, and then winter is total hibernation. I go outside a lot in the winter, but... It's total hibernation. And then spring is like the like fall, but in a reverse direction. You're just bursting out of your eggshell and your winter shell and going back outside and loving every minute. Because you can't stay outside all day. It's chilly. It's sort of chilly in the spring. But in. I'm almost home. This Ransom ride is over. I hope you guys like it. Um, there was really not much I said. I just talked. So it's whatever. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a lovely day. And take the time and smell what it smells like when the leaves fall. Because you'll love it too. Bye.